made entirely of neutrons, a neutron star. Many neutron stars have strong magnetic fields, and as they spin, they produce radio emission. As the radio beams pass over the Earth, we see them appearing to switch on and off, like a lighthouse. We call this a pulsar. The Murchison Widefield Array is a low-frequency radio telescope that we're using to explore the sky. We recently discovered a new source repeating much more slowly than a normal pulsar. We think that this could be a magnetar, a special kind of pulsar powered by the rearrangement of twisted magnetic fields. Alternatively, it could be an unusual white dwarf. These are left behind when less massive stars like our own sun reach the end of their lives. And of course, it could be something that we haven't even... Well, it's tremendously exciting. To find an entirely new class of object, that's just incredible. In my life, I've discovered a pulsar, a radio galaxy. I've done huge surveys across the whole sky and found all sorts of interesting things, but they were all known types of objects. This is the first time I found something completely unexpected that nobody even thought would be able to produce this kind of emission. Our source has a periodicity of 18 minutes. On the dot, every 18 minutes, plus or minus a little, it repeats. Now, this is completely unusual because there are no known classes of objects which can do this. If it is an ultra-long period magnetar, there should be a huge population waiting to be discovered. The key thing here was that nobody knew they would emit in the radio. Now that we know it's possible, the windows are open, we can look out and find this incredible hidden population.